Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be examining the question that is probably on everyone's mind. Can we eliminate all human suffering by creating an AI singularity? So what is a singularity? In this video, I will be defining a singularity as a system that gains intelligence exponentially that is only bounded by physics. So by this definition, it is clear that civilization is a singularity. So to illustrate this, we can basically look at the history of technological advancement. And so 12,000 years ago, we first invented agriculture. And then like probably some period of time, maybe thousands of years later, we invented like the next critical invention. And then some time passed and then we invented the next critical invention. And each time we invent like a new critical invention that's like groundbreaking and helps everyone the time until the next invention comes is going to be shorter and shorter and shorter because people are going to learn from the previous invention and try to improve on it. And in the process, people are getting smarter and smarter. So the, it's getting smaller and smaller. And like until 1850, now the time between each critical invention is like only 20 years instead of like probably what it used to be, which was thousands of years. So in 1850, we invented the steam engine. And then eventually we invented the electric motor and then the car and then the plane and the TV and then the microchip and the internet. And we're essentially getting smarter and smarter at an exponential rate as a, as, as a whole, like the system as a whole is getting smarter exponentially. So this will eventually end and we can look at, to understand why we can look at Moore's law. So in the eighties, the first computer chips had only like a thousand or 10,000 transistors for one chip. And then, but today in 2021, there we have computer chips that have billions of transistors. So eventually we will reach like the limit of physics. So there will be, we'll, we will make a computer chip that has the most compact amount of transistors that is physically possible. And that will essentially be when Moore's law ends. And we can also apply this to like the intelligence that is increasing exponentially. Eventually we will reach a physical limit where we essentially become a system that is the, the smartest being possible, like permitted within physics. So that's where this singularity is headed. So another concept to know is the, the idea of a technological singularity. So to explain that, first we should look at the internet. So the internet on its own is a singularity because we have billions of humans and those billions of humans are inputting data into the internet. And the internet is inputting data back into the humans and educating them. And as the humans get more educated, they input higher quality data back into the internet and that means the internet is going to get more sophisticated and input more quality data back into the human. So like both of them are increasing individually and the system as a whole is getting intelligent exponentially. So the idea of a technological singularity is kind of like, instead of having humans do this, we basically make our own program to do this. So this program, will use the data of the internet to get smarter and it will gain intelligence exponentially, but it will be, it will gain intelligence much faster than humans because we have a lot of, basically because it's one centralized system, we can basically funnel all the processing power into this system and make it smarter and basically reach the finish line. So when I say reach the finish line, I kind of mean it'll reach the most physically compact form of intelligence that is allowed within physics. And that'll be like the smartest thing that's physically possible. So the idea of it, that's the idea of a technological singularity is to basically program our own singularity. So if we were to be able to do this, what would we be able to do? So we could ask it very complex questions such as, how do we become a type two civilization as soon as possible? So we are currently a type one civilization, meaning we get all of our energy from earth. And the definition of a type two civilization is basically to get all the energy from 
our star. So we would do this by creating a Dyson swarm, which is essentially a shell of solar panels that surrounds the sun. And because like on earth, we are, we're only really getting hit with like 1 millionth or something probably much smaller percentage of like the sun's output, we would basically increase the amount of energy that we can use um, by many, many orders of magnitude if we become a type two civilization. So this kind of relates to the original question of like removing all human suffering. So I think building an AI singularity is the fastest way to become a type two civilization and becoming a type two civilization is the fastest way to remove all human suffering because essentially if we had access to this amount of energy, we would be able to uh, get all the resources from the solar system and use them to our benefit. So effectively like every human on the planet would, we would have enough money to like ha make everyone be a billionaire and not like money as in inflation, like wealth, more like wealth. Like everyone would have the wealth to be like a billionaire. So there wouldn't really be any incentive for conflict because everyone would already have like enough money to do whatever they want and be completely free. And it would essentially be like a utopia. So it's in our best interest to become a type two civilization as soon as possible. So we could ask it various questions and get cool answers. Like we could ask it, what's the cheapest way to prevent climate change? And if this is a, a if we're talking about like a singularity, an AI singularity that has reached the finish line, it will give us the correct answer because it will be so like infinitely smart. It will be able to simulate all the possibilities, simulate physics, and then it'll be smart enough to do all the engineering on its own. So like it would do all the hard work for us and then we would just need to like check its work and like determine, you know, and basically just need to do it ourselves. So we could ask it any question and it would give us the correct answer. Um, number two, we could discover the rest of science. So we could simulate all of the ideas possible and because it's like basically an infinitely smart system, it'll be able to discover the rest of science rather than having like the humans do it. Or, you know, we couldn't because it'd be kind of like, you know, spoilers, but like, you know, it's really, you know, we can make the decisions when we get there. Um, lastly, free skilled labor. So this intelligently smart system could basically be used for anything really, a free engineer, it could be, you know, this, be that. It could really do any skilled labor and really the only price would be the computing power. So essentially it would be free. So very overall, very beneficial to humanity. If we actually pull, pull it off, if we actually are able to create an AI singularity that reaches the finish line. So the interesting point is, I don't think it's actually that hard. Like obviously it's gonna require a lot of really, really skilled engineers with like a lot of determination and it's going to take a lot of time, but I think it is possible to build an AI singularity right now with like our given knowledge. And also like on this planet, there are a lot of computers. So I think we have like, we definitely have enough processing power to actually like train it. So, and yeah, so I think there are multiple ways to actually build an AI singularity. And this is my idea of the fastest and most like clear cut way to build one. So step one is the hardest step. And basically we would architect a system that will code its own brain using some language model, probably GPT-3 or GPT-4 or like, you know, whatever the most recent GPT is. So GPT is basically a really sophisticated language model created by OpenAI. And what GPT, three can do is like translate English to code and it can essentially like make, it can essentially create its own code. So we would code like the fundamentals of some system and then we would have like some complicated algorithm to use GPT three to code like the rest of its brain. And then the system would undergo like some certain amount of training on text and video. And then it would use reinforcement learning to determine like what it did well and like what it did poorly. And then the system will code its 
given like what the system just learned, it will code its brain again, and then it'll train again, and then it'll test itself again. And essentially this process will repeat over and over and over and over and over again. And everything that will, everything possible that we can will like have GPT-3 like code itself when it codes its own brain. So it will essentially become this like overall, like as, as it keeps repeating this process over and over, it will become like a very smarter and smarter engineer and it'll be better and better at coding its own brain. And yeah, it'll, it'll get smarter and smarter and smarter, like, like a singularity. So it's kind of imitating civilization where like each new invention creates a faster and faster singularity. And except the benefit is that it does it programmatically and because we have so much processing power, we can basically make the make the the process of it like getting gaining intelligence exponentially. We can make that go much faster. So instead of like having it take years and years for us to do it like manually on our own, it would programmatically be able to do it like you know probably in months or like weeks even if we have enough processing power. So this is my idea. I think in my mind this is like one of the best ways to create an AI singularity. So because of all the benefits, potential benefits of building one, I think we should do it right now. So either uh, like a couple, at least a couple, ideally like a lot of really um, elite software engineers who are passionate and who share my vision and who are really good at reinforcement learning models could email me and we could kind of like come together and build it. Or perhaps another option would be if a company such as OpenAI or Google DeepMind could like hire me and we could just use the, the current employees of that company to work on it. Or, you know, if you want to invest, I'm sure your investment will pay off. So overall, I think it's in humanity's best interest if we come together as a community and build one as soon as as soon as we can for the benefit of everyone um and the last thing i'm going to mention is kind of like some people have this i in my mind irrational fear that creating an ai singularity will be like the downfall of humanity that the singularity is going to gain consciousness and decide to wipe us all out but i think this fear is irrational for many reasons first of all i don't think this singularity will be conscious at all Second of all, we can just, you know, like it just, we, we can be careful when we program it. Like there's no reason that it would have, like, it would even have that option. And even if it did decide to do that, it wouldn't be able to pull it off because like we have all the guns. So like, I just don't understand this irrational fear that like some, an AI singularity is going to be the downfall of humanity. Rather, I think it's going to be like the best invention that humanity has ever created. So I think we should make it as soon as possible. So yeah, my email will be in the description. So if you want to help out, shoot me an email and we can, we can get this thing done. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. All right. Later.